It's just if you give, even if it's like a couple minutes each day, like if you sit down at this piano, I had a piano like this in Pittsburgh and I would just play it every day, just every day, practice, figure something out, learn a song, it doesn't matter what it is, spend time with it every day. And then you will, in years, just be better. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Chris Potter, piano player, producer, composer, I played with artists such as Benson Boone, Forrest Black, Poogee Bell, and I've been playing piano for like my whole life, but really taking it seriously for the past like 10 years. The stuff with Benson I got through just networking with my friends was a friend of a friend from Pittsburgh. I had to borrow a drum set from him, and then I was like, I was like, you sounds like you do a lot of cool stuff, and I was like, let's get some coffee, and we got coffee. And then the next thing I know, we were friends for like a year, playing board games like every other every other month or something like that. And then he got a call to go to Australia, and he was like, I have this guy that can do it, like because his piano player couldn't do it. And then he's like, I have a friend that can play that gig. Calls me, I'm like, sure, let's go to Australia. And that was the first gig I did, and I've been playing with him since that. A lot of the artists that I work with, the relationship beyond just me playing for them, it's me playing with them. And the music that they write kind of influences me, and I would like to think that I also influence them. As a piano player, the piano provides such a pad to all the music, so I have so much, I feel like, power as far as like how things feel. I can't give you like the groove and all that stuff for a lot of the stuff that I'm playing with on these bigger stages, but I can add little things harmonically, and I, I, I even notice their ears open up to the things that I do and then I hear them try, like doing the same kinds of things. For me, the best thing to play is rhythm changes, which is, for those that don't know, it's just a form in jazz, kind of like the blues. It has a specific form and everybody knows it, any jam session. Most of the song is just a one, six, two, five, one. Even if you don't do any more than that, the one, six, two, five, is, gives you so much information. And if you just take that and put it in different keys, and then start to build off of that, it opens all these doors. And if you keep from there, if you go from there and just expand and And if you had add, add like, taking very simple ideas, whether it's just a one, six, two, five, which I'm talking about scale degrees, which in C would be C, A, D, and G. You can play lots of songs. I, I think it's really nice. It's a, uh, it's like I was talking before, it's got heavy action. So, and I, I enjoy to practice on heavy action because that's why I have a real piano because practicing with a real piano, this feels like I actually have to give it some force. Like I was, I was playing H Hannon, and it feels like I'm actually doing something, you know? A lot, a lot of keyboards, it's like, it feels like you're just playing air almost. 